So today's video, I am finally getting around to it. It is my basic training experience video. Um, I have just been slacking on videos lately. I know, but I've been uh, really trying to like adjust being back home even though I've been back home for two months already but um, I've been in school and just doing all my other stuff um, just kind of getting back in the swing of things um, so yeah I wanted to tell you that um, I can yeah so um, I haven't made like any makeup videos or anything like that either and I'll definitely get back onto those um, as soon as I can I'm just really trying to juggle everything so bear with me but I do want to I did wanted to I did want to do the video on my basic training experience um, so yeah right, so as you can see I'm in uniform I am in the United States Army um, you know that because I made a video on it before but I'm in the National Guard um, I was shipped to Fort Sill, Oklahoma for 10 weeks. Um, I am a split ops and that basically means I'm going to do AIT next year because I wanted to come back to college. Uh, I only have a year and a half left so I wanted to go ahead and finish out college. Um, I didn't want to miss any school or anything like that. And um, so yeah, so I'm just going to explain for those who aren't in the army like what everything means. I don't have a unit patch yet unfortunately because I haven't completed AIT. Um, so I don't get a unit patch until I complete AIT and then get handed off. Um, so until then, I'll be at RSP for like a year. So my, yeah, okay, <laughs> backwards. So as you see, my last name is Sneed, and I am in E2 rank, so PV2, uh, E2 pay grade actually, not rank. Uh, and then my rank is private, like PV2. Um, but I'm just a private. I should be a PFC. I should have been PFC when I went in, but long story, the paperwork just didn't go through and my transcripts and stuff. But that's okay because I'll be promoting in January. Um, so yeah, there's my American flag and yeah, I'm kind of having a bad hair day today, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do my basic training experience and kind of tell you like how my life has been since I've been back and like how I'm feeling and everything. Okay, so I shipped out to basic training on June 2nd. I went to the, I shipped out from the MEPS and um, it was a long, long day. I, I, I got up at like 5, I think we had to be down at 5 and I didn't ship out until like 6 that afternoon. So imagine being up for that long, just sitting around and doing nothing and the shippers were first priority but it took forever but anyway um the day before I actually did ship um my parents dropped me off at the hotel and we had dinner our last meal uh at Chick-fil-a <laughs> 11 o'clock at night by the time we got to um the battalion or the um reception battalion um yeah it was I really it was dark I know it was nighttime and we were so freaking scared like there was a drill sergeant out there but she was so she was she wasn't like cool but she was nice you know she was she was like screaming at you that's not really basic training yet so we got there we ate like this little boxed I, I it's like a boxed breakfast or boxed whatever the hell it was but um I don't know what it was it was just weird I didn't eat that much of it because I couldn't eat, I'm allergic to fruit and I was just like dude I, I don't want to eat anything like this is too much like oh my god so we went to bed long story she kind of like did like a um uh what's it called uh presentation of like what's expected and we did some paperwork and stuff and then we went to bed uh around two o'clock i think in the morning and then we had to wake up at like five or something and um yeah we got there it was dark and there was like females already in the uh bays like sleeping and stuff and we were like in these trailer things we weren't like I wasn't at basic training yet we we're at reception so there's reception which is like a process where you go through and like uh do your eyes get your eyes checked your ears checked your health just everything um so you're at re the reception battalion usually it's supposed to last three days but I was there for a week and a day uh I heard the fort still has like the slowest reception battalion I don't know if that's true but uh, when I tell people there, I was there for a week, they were like, oh my god, but, I mean, it's better than some people who have, like, health problems and stuff, who get, like, they break something, and then they have to be there for, like, a month. <sighs> oh, I would die! And then, um, we went to bed, and then, like, the whole night, I really couldn't sleep. I was just, like, 
I was expecting a drill sergeant or something to come in like scream at us and wake us up and stuff, but it's reception. I don't really think they do that. But they're like, just be up um, at, a, at this time, whatever. And honestly, I really don't remember what happened after that. Um, that was so long ago. I, I really don't remember. But fast forward to reception, reception week, and we, uh, oh my god, long hours. Like, all you can do is sit and look at your soldier's book or your blue book. Um, I don't even, I think my soldier's book's actually in my bag over there, but, um, that's all you can do is do that. You can't talk. You have to sit at the position of attention. You can either do that or stare at the wall. Sometimes I would stare at the wall. Sometimes I would just read my soldier's book. But I would read your soldier's book so you can get up on the soldier's creed. So you can know like ranks and stuff. So you can know the warrior's ethos and the general orders. Like study your blue book while you're in reception. Um, so um, yeah, we learned how to like march and do cadences and stuff. And uh, just kind of get like... A little kind of a little taste of what we're gonna do in basic training like as far as order like structure and stuff like how to get in line like how to fall in and stuff um but they're not allowed to smoke you in reception they are but to a certain extent because they want you to go into basic training as fresh and as um unhurt as possible that's the best way i can explain it everyone in basic training has that moment where they're just like what the f did i get myself into everyone has that moment and if they say they haven't then they're freaking lying um i had that moment that was like the only time i ever cried and i i don't cry ever and i like i was in my bunk and i was like dude like oh my god like what the heck did i get myself into like this is it for me like i gotta quit like i gotta get out of here i was like plotting my escape guys like i was like i can't do this like I, like this is too much and i wasn't even doing anything i was just like going through reception and stuff but everyone has that moment like what the heck did i get myself into but what made it better is friends i made some great 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 friends who unfortunately they weren't in my platoon but they were in my battery uh, when we got to basic training but it was just it was hard and that was the one time i only cried i never cried in front of anybody but i cried like for a little bit in my bunk and stuff you know but yeah so reception basically you just um you just go through get your ears checked get your eyes checked your dental and everything that's just the best way it's kind of boring you get your shots i got like seven freaking shots guys um some some reception battalions do accept your um shot records mine did but my recruiters like uh they probably don't recept uh accept it i should have brought mine anyway but you know it's okay i just got some double dosage there you know but um yeah they draw your blood and do some stuff um so yeah okay so um wow it's so bright oh my god Ooh. anyway so yes so after that we uh fast forward through reception we get to basic training and we march um from our reception battalion to our battery fort still we call it a battery um it's company some other you call it a company like yeah okay so i have no idea where that left off but anyway so we march from reception to the battery and um what else we march from reception to the battery and um i don't remember if we, we weren't carrying anything we put all of our stuff like on the um these trucks when their drill sergeant when we're handed off to our drill sergeants um my drill my platoon started off with i think three drill sergeants yeah three th blah, three drill sergeants um <laughs> yeah so yeah uh, my first initial reaction when I saw our drill sergeants on, we call it field day, when you get handed off from your, uh, from the reception to your drill sergeant, it's called field day. <laughs> I, I was just looking over, I'm just like, oh my god, like, this is really happening, and I see this big dude, like, I'm not gonna say, uh, oh my god, I just see this big freaking dude, that's all I remember, I remember seeing this other drill sergeant. And I was like, oh, she seems pretty cool. She seems nice, but she didn't talk or anything. Um, but that, that wasn't actually my drill sergeant for my platoon. But I remember seeing drill sergeant, like, I was like, dang, that's a big dude. Like, that's all I can remember. And his face was so serious. But anyway, so we marched from the reception to there. And I think this was the same day we went to go to CIF to get all of our stuff. I really don't remember how I got to CIF. Was that that same day? Was that day zero or, like... 
the next day. I really don't remember. But anyway, so you start basic training on week zero. You don't start week one, which that that messes with your brain a little. That messes with my brain a little bit. I'm just like, week zero? I thought we were on week one. No, you start on week zero, guys. And um, field day, basically, they were just like, so we unloaded our, our all of our bags. I really don't know how we got the bags to the battery. Like, I don't remember exactly how that happened. But, oh yeah, but when, you, when you're called out to your platoon, you have to step forward, your drill sergeant calls your name, and you step forward. It almost feels like jail or something, but, um, yeah. Oh yeah, anyway, like, another thing that messed with my mind was, like, I saw when the guys got their head shaved, I was like, oh my god, you guys look like you're in prison. Like, it just, like, kind of messed with my brain. But anyway, so you have to step forward, and then you go to your platoon area, and you march to the battery. I know I've said that, that, like, a billion times. So you march to your battery, and, um... So all of our bags are um, rucks and everything somehow, I don't know how, my duffel bag or rucks, we call it rucks or duffel bag, whatever. Um, yeah, we. I, don't, I really don't, guys, I really don't remember how exactly it got to the battery. But anyways, all of our, we had a, at least 50 people in our platoon, in each platoon, and our bags were like everywhere. Like my luggage was like in first platoon's area, first platoon's someone for first, like, you don't know where your bags are and your drill sergeant was like okay everybody go get your bags in five minutes and i was like okay so at first i'm like god just imagine my room or just a room filled with duffel bags like and you have to find yours in five minutes and stir and then like after five minutes over to like stop and then like drill sergeant are you satisfied and a drill sergeant goes like like this and they're like everybody half right face and then you get, get in front wing rest position which is the push up position and um i was just i'm like shit and i'm like dang it like oh my god and they're like all right so after you get done getting your nice little initiation smoking in you could be like five more minutes to fire duffel bags private blah 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 like cursing everywhere people chasing you like this is shark attack and stuff and this is what we call the shark attack um, but they come like every which way just like cursing just like everything just like oh my it was just pandemonium guys it was like literally insane something like indescribable that no video on YouTube could ever prepare your you mentally for the loudness and screaming of all these freaking drill sergeants I uh, one drill sergeant chased one of my uh, people from my platoon he's like drill is field day it's just you just cannot put into words until you experience it for yourself but, you know, eventually we found our bags, guys. It took a little while, you know. Um, I don't really even remember, like, what drill sergeants were doing what. It was just, like, they were just, like, everywhere coming from, like, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if it was my own drill sergeant yelling at me. Like, I, I was just, like, holy crap. Like, wow this is really happening don't bring a whole lot of stuff to basic training just bring like a change of clothes because you right when you get to basic you're gonna um you're going to uh get clothes and you're gonna have to wear your pts and stuff but anyway so yeah we got our, our cif and everything uh all of that and then we had to go upstairs all the way upstairs like we had to go to fourth platoon bay fourth platoon we fourth platoon and second platoon shared a, a, a bay or barracks with uh, together uh, the females and we stayed in second platoon base second platoon is like on the first or really the second floor and then fourth platoon bay is on the fourth floor and um yeah we had to carry our bags up the fourth platoon bay and like get our stuff searched again um and just really i don't remember quite everything that happened um i think we got a phone call to just like tell our parents that we were there like safe and we got like five minutes to do that um Everyone was like crying and stuff. I was like, guys, is there? I mean, yeah, it's pretty sad, but I kind of kept it together. Like, I was like, mm. it's it is what it is. Um, so yeah, um, that was day zero. I think we did like some presentations, a lot of a lot of push-ups that day. Um, like, but you're just so on edge at like the first week or so, because you're like you're just scared. Like, I was afraid to take a shower. I'm like, we, I knew it was personal time, but I was like, can we take a shower? And drill sergeant's like, yes, yeah, private, you can take a shower, like, <laughs> but yeah, a lot, just expect a lot of yelling, a lot of, a lot of push-ups, a lot of push-up guys. You will get schwole so quick. Don't even worry about it. You get schwole so quick. But, um, yeah, you're tired as heck. Um, but yeah, so, 
First, we, um, I'm not going to go into specific details of each phase because that I could do like red phase, white phase, and blue phase like in a different video. But basically, red phase is a whole lot of smoking. It's mass, punish, mass punishment, guys. If one person screws up, the whole platoon is done for. Like the first time we ever did personal count um, with one of our drill sergeants, like someone messed up and we all got, oof, we all got in trouble for that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Per first personal count. Mm. Man. Uh, but it's like so weird like you count you've counted for like the whole entire your life and then when you do personal count you just can't count I don't know but um, yeah you're not allowed to call cadence you're not allowed to call cadence until your drill sergeant feels like you're um, ready enough to march like as long as you you can march right you know stuff so yeah we marched just by the drill sergeant saying left 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 right left one two three four all that crap um and then eventually like you're just you're just gonna get bored of doing that because staying just not calling a cadence like that's boring man and that was like one punishment we always get like we're like no cadence is going to be called if we do something so um yeah um what else so fast forward to red phase I'm not I'm like I said I'm not getting into deep detail because this video would be very long um, if I did so red phase we started like learning a little bit about RM and um, a little bit of na land nav um, uh, I don't remember if we quite I think we actually did start shooting uh, and RM for those who don't know is rifle marksmanship um, I believe we went out to the range in red phase. I can't quite remember. Um, but we zeroed our weapons and everything like that. I did. I had the M4. Um, my platoon had the M4. Um, what else? Red phase. Um, we did do the gas chambers in red phase. People say I'm weird for this, but the gas chambers was like literally like my favorite part of basic training. It was just like the first, other than treadwell tire, which I didn't really like that much. I discovered I am terrified of heights, but I, if I have to get up there, I'll do it, obviously. Um, I get the mission done, but um, um, yeah, I, I really am not really too fond of heights. Uh, I didn't know I was afraid of heights until then. Like, I'm I'm pretty, like, my family considers me, like, the daredevil. Like, I, I will go out and do, like, stuff that's cool, like, that no one else would do. But when I got up on Treadwell Tower, I was like, God, I don't think this is for me. Like, I don't think I, I want my feet on the ground. Um, so, yeah, but anyway, the gas groups was, like, the first thing, like, all of me and my battles, like, we just kind of, like, the big thing that we completed together. Uh, we did our... 4k which is like the worst like I think the 4k is like the worst ruck march out of all of them you have the 4k the 8k the 12k and then the 16k which I think that our drill sergeants added on two more extra like miles or two more k's to it learn how to don your mask and like that's not that important right now but um yeah the J list is something you will learn to hate um unless you're like Seaburn or something but um yeah, the J list, like the boots and stuff, streamer there. And PT, I haven't even said a lot about PT. We do P we did PT. Usually formation was our four zero or not four zero five thirty was first call. Or it was formation. Or was first call five. Anyway, we had to be there and ready to go by five thirty. And we usually woke up uh, my platoon my bay, we got in trouble like the first Few, uh, the first uh, two weeks really the first red phase so we had to wake up at 4 and usually wake up at 0 4 um, but uh, yeah that we got in trouble because the bay wasn't clean um, our drill sergeant um, said that until our bay is clean the way she wants it then we had to wake up at 0 4 um, yeah after red phase we phase over to white phase and again guys this is just incredibly like not deep into detail um, but in white phase, I believe we, we um, qualified on our weapons in white phase. Um, white phase, they give you a little bit more leeway. Um, I believe there is PG and APG, um, which is platoon guide and assistant platoon guide. And, like, you're going to get irritated with each other. Just kind of try to stay out of the drama. I stayed out of the drama. Um, 
I, I'm just never been like the type of person to get into drama, but um, there's a lot of crap that just goes on. You're just like, why, guys? Um, so, yeah, anyways, um, but yeah, we had a thing called drill sergeant contact time, and one of our drill sergeants, she would just let us lay it out on the table. If you had a problem with somebody, call them out. She says, this blank is going to die today, and fill in the blanks, you know. This is gonna die today, and you know I I admire her like to this day. Like I I know I can speak for my entire platoon. Like she is like just not. You just don't find a lot of drill sergeants out there like her. Um, she was tough on us, and she was hard on us. She expected a she expected a lot from us, um, but at the same time, like she was our biggest cheerleader, and she wanted us to succeed. Um, this wasn't just like another cycle to her. This was like what she lived for like she this is what she knew like she liked to be a drill sergeant but don't piss her off guys oh my god don't piss her off but you know I, we have so after white face you do have religious services res, blah, blah, religious services they can't that's one thing they can't deny you is water <laughs> um and religious services that's one thing that you can't get denied at basic training um, but if I didn't say it, did I already say PT? So PT, um, yeah, I totally got off track. So you have PT in the mornings, we do PRT, and, uh, sometimes we had AGR runs. We tried to get in a run every other day, and then after a while, like, we just really didn't have time to run. Um, so we would run, like, on Wednesdays, or, and then if sometimes we, I don't, I don't even know if we ran, like, sometimes we'd probably go a week without running. We run from the PT field back to the battery, like, that would be running, but in basic training, you have to run everywhere anyway, like, um, yeah, you don't walk anywhere, basic, you run everywhere, so. I got my phone's phone back, um, usually for 30 minutes, I think, only one, I think only one time we actually got our phones back for a little over 30 minutes, usually we only got it for 30, but hey, we got it, at least we got our phones, um, on Sundays. Um, so yeah, blue phase, um, all in all guys, like, it gets better, um, yeah, it sucks, it sucks pretty bad in red phase and in, uh, um, a little bit in white phase and then blue phase it gets a little better, um, I mean, the, they're still very hard on you and very, like, tough on you, but you kind of adjust and, like, get used to that way of life and I crave that way of life, like, I like order and I like structure like I that's why I joined the army like I like the army way of life I like the how we do things like dress right dress and just OCD like I'm so OCD about stuff and I just if you're if you're looking for a change and you're just like you don't know what you want to do with your life um and you want to be a part of something great join the army like uh, I mean I'm not like an advocate or anything but um, I literally, I do not regret, you know, this, any of my decisions as far as the army goes. Um, yes, it was tough and yes, it was challenging and I, yes, it's only the beginning. I haven't even gone to AIT yet, but you know what? I'm also that I, so far, um, as far as basic training goes, met that less than 1% of the population or the United States population makes it. And it's so true. There are so many people that dropped out, that quit, that chaptered out, that got medically discharged because they had something wrong with them, something wrong with them. Like, not it's not for everybody, you know. And I'm proud um, that I met those requirements um, as far as basic training goes. But I am very confident that I have been trained and I'm proficient enough and that I will be proficient enough to make it through AIT. I'm not really worried about that. But for one thing, for split options, uh, for split ops people, get out running. Don't stop running. Um, you can lose it very quick. Um, it's okay to rest a little bit when you get home, but like, you gotta like get on it. Like, you cannot stop. Um, I mean, I don't wake up early anymore. Um, only when I have to. But when I have to get up early, I wake up early, like with no problem. Um, so I am by no means a morning person. That never changed. But you know, I get the job done and I execute. You know. Um, so you're not going to be good at everything at basic training um like me i sucked at land nav like i really sucked at land nav but you know i got better at pt and i got better at rifle marksmanship like i never shot a weapon in my entire life i had never fired a weapon in my entire life never touched a weapon never seen a weapon or anything and i was literally terrified guys terrified 
of my rifle. Like, I, I was just so scared the first day that, and I mean, I mean, I didn't let it show or anything, but like, you know, people like they are already knew like what they were doing because they'd already like they've they like hunt and stuff. But um, be confident and listen. Um, the military is like the easiest job ever because you get told what to do. Like, that's it's just that simple. You just execute, but and you will survive basic training if you do that. Just freaking execute. Um, do what you're told. Um, and don't quit, guys. Um, there are gonna be people that quit, and um, that's just like how it is. Like, the it's just not for everyone. Um, don't let your battles down. That's just one thing. Like, when people quit, we lost so much respect for them. Like, um, to the point where we're just like, I don't know, you just feel like so let down. And, um, yeah, I don't know. But, um, like, when you, your battles are there for you to help you pick you up when you're down. Like, when you're having a bad day, your battle's there to help you. When your battle's having a bad day, you be there to help them. Like, it's a team effort. You have to learn that also. It's a freaking team effort. Like, you can't make it through without them, you know? So, don't be selfish. Don't screw over your battle buddies. Um, that's like a rated G version of what our drill sergeant would say. Um, don't, just don't let them down and try your best. Put your best foot forward. Give your 110% and beyond. Um, don't quit. Live the army values. Never freaking quit. Um, so, it gets tough, like, out in the field. Like, I can go into better detail about being out in the field and, um, all other stuff. Um, if you want me to, like, in a different video, I'm just not gonna go into detail in this video because, um, I'm looking at 30 minutes right now. So, um, but anyway, um, family day came around and, um, oh, and church. If you don't have a religion, you gonna find a religion when you go to basic training because you want to get off that battery so bad and just get away, like, mm, that hour or two hours or whatever. Oh, it's so nice. Just get out and get and be around people that aren't screaming and yelling at you all the time. Um, but, you know, you have some good times. You have great times with your drill sergeants. You have great times with your battle buddies. You just, it, overall, it was a great experience. Um, tough challenging but not impossible um thousands of people have done it before me thousands of people are going to do it after it's not impossible like on those days where you just feel like you can't go on anymore think about the reason why you're there um i thought about my family like my family said thought that i was going to pass basic training like there's no doubt in their mind that they thought i was going to pass basic training so i had to pass basic training you know um don't don't go in basic training like just wanting to meet the requirements go above and beyond the requirements um like for me i i didn't uh let's see like it's only 50 percent to pass your pt test in basic so why not go 70 percent like why do you want to just meet 50 percent you know and um for me i'm i've already maxed out of unfortunately i didn't quite max out of everything i think i maxed out of my i almost maxed out of my push-ups i think i was like three away um, from push-ups on my final BPFT, but now I max out of my push-ups, I max out of my sit-ups, and I'm almost about to max out of my run. So I'm very proud of myself for that because I, even after basic, like there are people who go back, come back, and are just like couch potato, couch potatoes, and they don't do anything. And then when they get to AIT, they can't pass AIT because they're not in shape. So for split-ups, like I said, get out there, run, run. I try to run every other day. Actually, I do run every other day, um, even with school and everything. So. Yeah, just that my little spiel on that. But um, anyway, family day came around, just awesome overall, something that you'll experience. Um, so yeah, that's just like my little, in a nutshell, basic training experience. Uh, I know I didn't go into specific detail about everything, and I mean, who wants to sit here and watch this 30 minute freaking video? But um, so now life after I got home, um, I literally graduated basic training Three days before my um, three days before uh, my college, my junior year of college um, semester started, and I came back home two days before it started. So I literally came went back to school right after I, I landed. Basically, um, it was weird. It's weird coming back into the civilian environment and um, 
being around civilians wow i just got really right here um just adjusting like it was just it's very indescribable it's not something that i can really explain to you which is why i haven't made that many videos just because i'm personally trying to get used to being back here um even though it's been two months already like it's just not I, my brain just can't go back to being a civilian um so it, that that is pretty hard so i just really need to st take a step back and kind of get my life together um so yeah like i have my days where i'm just like this civilian life like it's just not for me like it's hard it's really hard to juggle that um especially being back from coming back from such a hostile environment to just being like oh i can i don't have to stay behind anybody i don't have to stay in a straight line or i don't have to have a battle or something like that but um it's pretty hard it's pretty hard to adjust um being around a lot of people that i really haven't like i've been around the same people for two and a half months the same exact people these same exact people and then like not being around them was kind of weird um yeah so it was it's it's been an adjustment and i'm starting to get a little bit more used to it um uh, but i cannot wait to get back to ait like, like oh my god um so yeah that is basically my basic training experience i am more than happy to answer any questions i am by no means an expert you know in the army or anything hence my rank but um as far as like my experience and like how i'm doing and blah 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 like i am more than willing to answer any of those questions guys but yeah that is the end of this long freaking video um i hope that you enjoyed this video um i know i didn't share that much i know i said that already but um yeah but i'm just glad that i got to finally record this video this long overdue video um, and I hope you guys have a great day and I can't wait to get back to my makeup videos um, and my regular videos and my fall videos. I have so much planned out um, for like the holidays and stuff, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.